right, here's the live visuals of the Chinook that's just landed with those 41 workers who were rescued after 17 days of that harrowing experience. You have the IAF Chinook helicopter that's just landed at the Dolly Grant Airport in Dehradun. In fact, they are, they are right now in Dehradun, uh, right along the Ames Hospital, where they're going to be taken to for a full body checkup. That's the Chinook helicopter that's just landed and straight will be taken, they, they will be taken to the Ames Hospital itself in Rishikesh. This is a real moment of relief for the family uh, that have been waiting for their loved ones to come out safe. They are now going to be taken to that hospital after a full body checkup will be released. That's the live visual coming in of those workers, uh, trapped workers all who were loaded on this very Chinook helicopter of the IAF that's been aiding this mission right from the start. It was parked right there along the tun tunnel collapse site, waiting for the rescue mission to end. And soon after that happened, now they mounted all those uh, trapped workers, 41 of them who were rescued onto this Chinook helicopter. And just barely about 25 minutes ago that it took off from uh, Chinyalisor, it now has landed in Dehradun. Ames Hospital, they will be taken to the Ames Rishikesh for a full body checkup before they are let off. That's the image coming in of the Indian Air Force Chinook, uh, Chinook helicopter. As mentioned, uh, there are 15 of these helicopters with the Indian Air Force. It's meant for heavy payloads in high altitudes and this in this rescue mission and this kind of mission that was challenging uh, to say the least from this very beginning though it looked very uh, it looked smooth initially but several technical uh, hiccups that the rescue teams had to encounter finally after 17 days that rescue mission ended and successfully so all of the army was pressed into action and from the Indian Air Force, the Chinook helicopter was uh, there on standby for any kind of aid and finally it appears after the mission is completed, this Chinook helicopter have, has carried 41 of those workers who were trapped and has now landed at Dehradun, brought them to the Ames Rishikesh Hospital. joining us live for more on that amit uh, you've been you've been seeing overseeing the operations yourself as a reporter and bringing us those updates right from day uh, one. in fact through and through uh, our india today correspondents be it ashutosh you moshami who also landed up right to the fag end all three of you have been bringing us every angle and view of this rescue mission and this image must be such a relief now coming to the family members to see that chinook helicopter finally land at the ames hospital for just a couple customary check. It's basic protocols because what we know is that all 41 workers and their vitals are absolutely stable. They're doing fully fine, waiting for them to meet with, with their families. Uh, right, Nabila, this is a happy moment for the family members, happy moment for the rescue team, uh, uh, you know, which uh, went for a mammoth uh, rescue operation for the past 17 days and also a happy moment for the chief minister of the state and the central agencies which were involved in the rescue operation. Uh, you know, if we talk about the medical checkup, uh, check which is uh, going to happen, uh, right behind me is the community health center of Chinyali Sol, from where these uh, 41 workers were taken to the helipad, which is nearby, and then airlifted to Dehradun, from there to Ames, Rishikesh. Now, here the uh, immediate medical a checkup was done. I, have, I had gone inside the CSC as well. Uh, the uh, special ward that was created for the Silkiara Tunnel uh, rescue uh, workers. I've gone through the facilities which is inside. It's all, uh, you know, in place. Uh, be it oxygen supply, the medical uh, requirements that you need, the beds, uh, all facilities are there. But again, this is a community health center uh, and you would also want to have a state-of-art medical facility and the nearest one is in Rishikesh, the Ames Rishikesh uh, 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 in this particular case. And uh, Nabila, you know, it's not just about the physical well-being of these workers. It is very important to a certain uh, the trauma that uh, these people might have gone through in the past 17 days, it's absolutely even more important to analyze this because uh, 
you know, they belong to the lower economic strata of the society. If you don't, uh, if the state government or the central government do not go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, analyze uh, uh, and look into the, uh, any possible uh, trauma that they have gone through in the past 17 days, you know, these people won't be able to afford the doctors, uh, uh, psychiatrists, uh, therapists uh, for that matter. Uh, hence, uh, the state government and the central government in this particular case have decided to uh, go ahead with a thorough checkup the medical uh, checkup was done here. The vitals uh, checkup was done here. At Ames, uh, Rish case, what will happen further is more of the uh, you know uh, several other tests will be run, uh, and uh, these workers will also be meeting uh, uh, therapists, psychologists for that matter. They will also get into the details of their experiences in those 17 hours uh, because uh, you know this could not only be about their well-being but also about this could also serve as a uh, a uh, solid research paper uh, for uh, the authorities, for the medic uh, medical sector as well in the days to come. If at all, anywhere in the world, you know, a situation of this sort happens, what should be done? Uh, what uh, what should be the SOPs? Uh, what sort of, uh, sort of medical uh, facilities should be provided? In, in what gap the psychologist uh, uh, should be brought in into the picture? All that uh, will be also mapped out uh, through this particular exercise. Uh, but uh, uh, what I also want to underline is that uh, the fact that they belong to the lower economic strata, uh, they will not be able to afford the doctors, the psychologists, therapists for that matter. And in that case, the state is actually doing the right thing, is moving in the right direction. I'm also, you know, a couple of minutes back, uh, why I'm standing at the CHC in Ch uh, 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 Chinyali Saw, uh, the reason is that uh, the family members of these 41 rescued workers uh, have been now also taken... Uh, uh, to Rishikesh, uh, they, they were accommodated in a yellow bus. After that, several other ambulances were called in, and uh, they have been now. Uh, they are being taken to Rishikesh. What, have, what we are given to understand that maybe in the evening, uh, Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami uh, would want to celebrate, uh, you know, the post Diwali celebration which happens in Uttarakhand. You know, the locals out here actually celebrate Diwali, a much bigger fanfare of Diwali, much bigger uh, celebration than Diwali, uh, nearly 11 days after Diwali. So, a celebration of sorts which was uh, delayed because of this particular rescue operation. We, we are given to understand that uh, Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami has invited uh, the family members of the rescued workers for the celebration as well. So, that is also going to happen in Dehradun. Uh, the details of this is still awaited, you know. Uh, but uh, again, all this is a sign of a uh, sort of relief and uh, celebration, which is, uh, you know, uh, uh, which every authority, ev every rescue uh, personnel has uh, the right to celebrate this moment because this has been a mammoth rescue operation, and we have been able to win it after 17 days. Uh, the good part is. They are physically fit, all 41 of them. I have spoken to their family members. I have also spoken to many of these workers. They are physically fit. They are doing well. But as far as the trauma is concerned, that will be also analyzed at Ames Rishikesh. Nabila. All right. Uh, you know, we, we see that the family members are boarding those buses to Ames uh, uh, Rishikesh. How long is that journey for the family members? We know that the workers have already reached that IF. Uh, helicopter Chinook has already landed. They've been now slowly, one after the other, moved out to, in ambulances to the Rishikesh Ames Hospital. While that said, family members are yet to arrive. How long is that journey by road, Amit? Uh, Nabila, that uh, could take five to six hours at least to reach, uh, you know, Rishikesh is uh, in a different terrain of Uttarakhand. Uh, we are in Uttarkashi. This, le uh, this road leads to uh, 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 Yamnotri. Uh, so they will have to actually take a route from here to, uh, towards uh, Tiri, Cham uh, Chamba and eventually uh, down to Rishikesh. That's uh, the process. And uh, it's fine because in that uh, uh, time frame, the doctors will be able to analyze the entire situation. Several tests needs to be run. That will be done as well in this period of five to six hours. And it is uh, the case, in this particular case, Nabila, we have to also uh, 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 remind ourselves that uh, these seven, uh, 41 workers were stranded inside uh, the tunnel for 17 days. So it has to be a phase-wise exposure to the society. That uh, it, it needs to be planned out. You can't simply just... Uh, let these workers to be completely exposed to the normal, uh, you know, routine daily life. And that is why this medical 
examination process has been mapped out in that uh, manner and fashion as well. If you would look at the visuals that uh, unfolded uh, that we saw last night, uh, was that these workers were taken out, uh, they were all happy, jubilant, uh, coming out of the tunnel, celebrating that moment, hugging the Chief Minister of the State uh, and as well as General V.K. Singh. After that, the doctors took over the operation as well for a brief period. Uh, uh, immediate medical examination was done to check whether there were any outside uh, uh, external cuts, uh, you know, any uh, 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 any uh, 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 sort of cuts uh, for that matter. Uh, that was attended. After that, these uh, workers were uh, uh, shifted to the uh, ambulances and taken straight uh, to this Chinchali uh, Sol uh, uh, CHC. Out here, Nabila, in the night, what we saw was that uh, proper food uh, nutrition that was decided by the dietitians were given to them, and family members had a very brief meeting. In the morning, they were allowed to have a proper meeting with their uh, loved ones. Uh, the uh, workers were stranded inside. So if you look at the map, it's a slow exposure to the normal life, you know, in initiating them slowly to the normal life, to the routine life. And uh, now at uh, Ames Rishikesh, uh, the same thing will be done.